So, bottom-up emergence. I watched a video of an atheist who goes by the name Genetically Modified Skeptic. He was refuting a video of a Muslim who was making the point that atoms don't have characteristics a human has, like sight and emotion. Therefore, God is commanding extra categories, characteristics to appear for these atoms. An easy routine refutation for the atheist, with a fallacy exposed for good measure. He explains that the simple parts on their own may not possess a property, but the interaction of simple parts within a complex system can give rise to properties on the level of the system. These are called emergent properties. For example, a single cell cannot pump blood, but when enough of them get together, they form a structure which can, meaning the thing that pumps blood can be explained in entirely bottom-up material terms. However, this is precisely wrong, I will say again. The conclusion, atoms cannot comp pump blood in themselves, but can make up something that does, therefore the thing that pumps blood is just made up of atoms, is wrong. Incorrect. There is more than meaningless matter in this equation. However, it is not recognised, hence it is circular reasoning, concluding materialism by assuming materialism. It is wrong in the same way it is wrong to say some writing on a page is just some ink atoms on some page atoms with no abstract meaning given to it by a conscious being, or that ink atoms and page atoms suddenly, through bottom-up emergence, can make up the thing that has meaning. It assumes materialism to be true before it answers the question. It is ignoring the namer, the observer. It ignores consciousness. This is the thing the scientific process does best. It removes all the things but the limited parts of the equation that you want to know more about. The thing that is always removed is the observer. So, what am I on about, do you say? What exactly is the thing that pumps blood you speak of and claim is only made up of atoms? Don't you see? You've bestowed upon the atom's meaning and purpose to pump blood. You've bestowed upon it that which is not physical, spirit for all intents and purposes. The thing that pumps blood is made up of matter, yes, but only with the combination, with the purpose to pump blood, given to the atoms below from the observer above. The very name, the thing that pumps blood, is defined not by any material composition, but is defined by a process, a goal, to pump blood. And that is certainly not made of atoms. So the thing that pumps blood cannot exist without the, both the physical matter as well as the spiritual meaning. So it is incorrect to say the ability to pump blood is an emergent property.